Hi, this is Jonathan Gardner. This is part three of section 612. And there's, there's the Gilbert model where you just assume that magnetic monopoles exist and they behave exactly like electric charges but they produce magnetic fields instead of electric fields. And our uncovering of how things behave in, in matter in the magnetic moment versus the magnetic dipole moment versus the electrostatic dipole moment um, shows that there's a tremendous amount of parallel and in truth, if you use the Gilbert model, you're going to get uh, pretty close answers for most of the problems you solve. And the trick is that uh, where you see P vector, you substitute in the magnetic moment vector. And where you see one over epsilon naught, you just substitute in mu naught. And where you see the E vector, you substitute in the, the B vector. And those are the three little substitutions you can do. And pretty much everything in electrostatics applies to uh, magnetostatics. Um, However, the problem is that when you get close to the, the, the source charges, source charges, those are the, the finger quotes there, um, the Gilbert model fails dramatically in a very bad way because it really isn't um, magnetic monopoles behaving a certain way. And so you have to fall back to the Ampere model where there are no magnetic monopoles, there's only currents that flow around in circles. Um, so this is the idea that you have like a north and you have a south and you have like uh, B vectors pointing between them. And this is the idea that you have uh, B or magnetic moments, in, rather not B vectors, these are magnetic moments. This is the magnetic moment there. And um, so um, particularly there's this interesting uh, property that as you get very close to that magnetic dipole, the Gilbert model would predict that you get negative one third a certain quantity whereas the Amperian model gives you the correct two-thirds, positive two-thirds, so it's opposite by a sign and a factor of two. So um, his suggestion is he says uh, use the Gilbert model if it helps, uh, if it helps your mental model, so pretend like you have magnetic monopoles everywhere, but when you actually go to do the math, be sure to use the Amperian model so you get the correct answer. So hope that helps. Um, this is a, a bit of a fun section, um, and I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about it as much as I did teaching it. Thanks.